Welcome back, brothers and sisters. My name is Brayden. This guy's name is Tim, and we have an amazing show for you today because did you guys know that if you sing a song and you mention a gun, ho, 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 are you on the bandwagon potential? Because Shannon Watts is out on the prowl, and she will make sure that everything is right in the world of gun control safety. Isn't that right, Tim? Oh, yeah. That's what I heard. Oh, yeah. That's you what know, I if you, you go out there and talk about a firearm in any way whatsoever, or even mention it or allude to one, then uh, yeah, you're you're cancel worthy. Yeah, in Hollywood. Yeah, I think I think you're on. Yeah, you're on the topic. Like you're right there on the top of that list. You're really dancing with the devil. Yeah. To be quite honest with you. Hey, did you notice I have I mean, my AOC smart person glasses on? Oh, I I thought you went up a few notches. Oh, yeah, yeah, my IQ's you know? up at least fifty points. That's that's excellent because for this content we're gonna need a philosophizer on this one. That's what we need, <laughs> philosophizer sure. about cultural references. So, if you guys haven't uh, noticed, we're gonna talk about the Jason Aldean thing, where Shannon Watts decided that it was time to be relevant again and tar- start tweeting about canceling this song, which had nothing to do with any of her accusations. But before you get into that, make sure that you like the video, subscribe to the channel, and turn the notification bell on. We would love to have you help Second Legacy grow far and wide across this amazing nation to help spread freedom far and wide. But let's get into this. Let me introduce the topic, Tim, and I have a feeling with your glasses and my great beard this morning, we're going to have a great time. <laughs> so, Mr. Producer, could you hit number one for me? Top gun control activist takes credit for CMT scrubbing Jason Aldean video, tries to get him canceled by the Opry. The top gun control activist, is, is this Shannon Watts, Tim? Oh, I thought this it was the Davey founder Hogg. of Moms Demand Action. <laughs> yeah. No, 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 not no. Davy Hogg. By the way, Darn. if you saw his most recent picture, yes. his shoes were way too big. Yeah. Just I, saying. I didn't realize Pataki was so tiny. I know. <laughs> Circle back Saki, man. She was tiny. Or he's very tall. He's 5'10", I don't know. it said, with size 16 oh. clown shoes. You know. Oh. Well, you know what? That's for another video, because that was a funny clip. Yes. But let's, you know, Shannon. Tim, we have a long and storied history with Shannon. Founder of Mom's Man Action. Pusher of gun control extraordinaire. <sighs> She's at it again, man. She's, yeah. she's out here to really make sure that we don't sing the wrong songs and say the wrong words because mentioning a gun that your grandfather gave you, that's just wrong, Tim. It is, yes. And, um, you know, it, he's he's definitely worthy of all the scorn he's getting and, you know, what an yeah. awful, awful human being mm-hmm. for just making a mm-hmm. country song that um, – it's just a country song. <laughs> it's just a country song. Yeah, and so there's and, nothing and, you know, racist the about thing. it. Anything. Nope, nope, nope. But it mentions a gun, Tim. Yes, can't and have it that. says, and it says, don't try all of your uh, riot, riotous activities in small towns, which is 100 percent accurate. But somehow, Tim, that is, as as Ben Shapiro says, racist. Yes, and of course. You mentioned a gun at the same time, so now it's violent racism. Yeah, I saw some of the criticisms terrible. online. Now, I'm not a big country western yeah. guy, right? It's it's not my genre. Of oh, music. no, you exude it. You exude so it. So I haven't man. been like, able to sit through the song yet, you know, <laughs> but I get the gist, right? Because I've seen yeah. the lyrics, you know, on Twitter and stuff like that. And literally, yeah. there's nothing in it. I mean, there's it's, nothing in it. No. Nope. And then, then people are saying, nope. well, he's using video clips that are racist, he's using actual news clips that what? were broadcast, it's even by clip. CNN. MSNBC and all the other right. Marxist whack jobs. Does that mean they're racist? Yes. The whole world's racist. It might. We, we don't use that word Everything enough. is. Yes. No, we don't. We should throw it in again. Racist. We should j- do it again. You're yes. Racist. I feel better now. Look at you, racist. I feel better. I know. I know. It's because of who I am. I can't, it's my immutable characteristics. I need a shower. But you know Way what? too much white privilege coming through the screen from you right now. Oh, my God. <clears throat> buckets and buckets. But anyway, that's a reference to an earlier video if you guys missed it. <laughs> <laughs> Let's get this. Let's continue because the only way to cover this is with this much sarcasm and uh, chicanery. All right. So number two, Mr. Producer, prominent gun control activist Shannon Watts is trying to get country music star Jason L.D. canceled over a song she claims is, quote, racist and violent. Let's go to number three. Let's paint the whole picture for you guys. Country Music Television yanked the video without comment on Monday, prompting Aldean to lash out on Twitter, writing, quote, There is not a single lyric in the song that references race or points to it, and there isn't a single video clip that isn't real news footage, and while I can try and respect others to have their own interpretation of a song with music, this one goes too far. Tim, is there another genre on the planet in the realm of music that you can think of that might, might be a better candidate for maybe don't say that. 
Uh, no, because if I mention it, I'll be racist, misogynistic, a, a fascist, right. Right. Um, every you can that's think right. of. Yes. You know what? You know what, Tim? I'll say it. I'm not afraid. I'm not afraid. Polka industry. Oh, we're coming for you. You did it. You did it. That's right. Polka. Well, all right, th- folks. Right. Thanks for watching. YouTube's going to purge yeah. us now. It was a great run. It was. It was a great run. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, no, I, I, I do find it interesting, though, Tim, that um, said unspoken uh, genre of music can go down the road of, uh, oh, let's see, targeting minorities, targeting alternative lifestyles, vulgar language, encouraging criminal behavior. Mm-hmm. Mm, a lot of very concerning language, but I, it's odd because yeah. I haven't seen Shannon post a single tweet about any of those. This, it must be because she wasn't listening. Oh, oh, I'm pretty sure, Tim, there is mention of firearms in said genre that we can't speak about. Yes. We'll just call it polka. Yep. I'm pretty sure. No, I'm, would, I, would, you, would my assessment be on point? You know, I, if I'm not mistaken, I've seen some videos, music videos of, mm. you know, the talent pointing guns at the camera at each other, mm-hmm. glorifying violence. Yeah. Um, mm-hmm. Usually uh, it's, um, you know, just really, really, really violent stuff. But yeah. Uh, yeah. that's not scorn worthy. Uh, it, no, it, no if, that's uh, artistic expression. Yeah. Now, if you do that in the country Western yeah. world. Whoa. Yeah. Take Whoa. a step back, pull the boots Whoa. up, you know, Check yourself. dust off the white privilege and put the gun away. Okay. <laughs> Check yourself before you wreck yourself. Yes. Because this is not, this is not that America anymore, Tim. <laughs> All right. Crickets. Yeah. Yeah. That's, that's, that's an America of old. So let's continue. You know what? Let's, let's look at the Paragon, right? I love that word when referring to Shannon Watts because she's just so iconically irrelevant or her. Sorry. All right. Uh, so number four, Mr. Producer, that's a good word. Oh, I like it. Watts first called attention to the song's lyrics in a late night tweet Sunday saying it's about quote, how he and his friends will shoot you if you try to take their guns. Huh? She called attention to it. I, I remember the leftist mm. media just freaking out in general, but she's claiming vic- she, she mm. must be an NRA member secretly. She is clearly, clearly um, <laughs> claiming victory so, for other like, people. I don't stuff. know. Like, I'm, I'm, I'm feeling, I'm feeling this vibe. Like, I don't know. I, I see this. You guys in the comments, let us know if you, if you agree or don't agree. But I'm seeing this picture in my mind's eye, Tim, where Shannon settling down for a long weekend had a good weekend. Maybe you know a, a glass of wine, just having a nice night by the by the pool, and jumps on Twitter, and her her weekend is ruined. Tim, yep, I can feel it, and and it's just time to take action because common sense gun violence, oh sorry, common sense gun safety is what needs to be at the forefront of everything, <laughs> including country music. Yeah, and you know, she you know, was just I don't think there. country boys can survive. No, country boys most certainly will not survive this. Uh, you know, nope. she she single handedly took him down, and uh, she's yep. she's gloating about it on Twitter. You know, oh, yeah. hey, she, oh, we've got there's that. nothing like you know going out there and you know making a post like that and then making a post later like, look what I did. It was me, folks. I, I I'm so proud to be uh-huh. part of this. Yeah, it's like, yeah. The censorship. Look at me. Look at me. Look it's at me. amazing. Yeah, yeah. It's it's almost like this might have been more about Shannon than the actual. No incident no i wouldn't that's very uh, no. misogynistic okay. of you and racist it 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 is oh well you know what let's just go to number five mr producer and i'll just carry on my misogynistic ways uh watts later took credit for cmt's decision in scrubbing the video there you go. Yeah. proud to have had a hand in getting cmt to reject this racist and violent song she tweeted tuesday evening so from sunday to tuesday she was at it apparently that's all the time it takes and here's the proof number six uh, there she says the exact same thing. And here's the article she's tweeting. CMT pulls Jason Aldean's controversial try that in a small town video exclusive. The outlet gave no reason for yanking the clip. <laughs> it's called cowardice. It's pretty easy. Well, they didn't I want to capitulate reason, to the left. She's claiming victory, but they don't give reason. They didn't yes. say she did it. You know what? That is very astute. That's those glasses talking. It is. They never gave her credit. No. So how is she claiming? Is she claiming false laurels? I don't know. I mean, but she gave herself credit. And that's all that's important. That is all that's important. Yeah. And you know what? And you know what? There's there's more, Tim. Because Shannon, again, she's the arbiter um, of everything good in the world. She's now going after the Grand old Opry and saying they should probably not have Jason Aldean there, even though it's a fundraiser for the Covenant School. Yeah. But, you know, it, it does not matter. We must have intellectual purity, Tim. Mr. Producer, let's do seven, and then we're just going to break this down and do some comparisons. 
The At Opry is hosting Jason Aldean at a fundraiser for the Covenant School in Nashville. One would think there are many other country music artists they could invite instead. So, Tim, I don't know, man. I, I, you know, Sunday night by the pool, it feels like Shannon was feeling a little irrelevant, not the leader of Mom's Man Action anymore, kind of on a board position, really needed to get some attention, so she decided to pick a song that had been out for several months, make an issue about it, get it canceled, gloat about it being canceled, and then wanted to really push that bully tactic a little further, and wants to go after the Grand old Opry around fundraising for gun violence tragedy, as she would call it, of which she pushed political capital to push gun control. Yeah. This is not a pleasant person, Tim. You don't say. I, I'm, I'm, that is, I'm putting my flag in that. Yeah. I, you know, I, I, mm -hmm. I would go with that. I would imagine she's just not the type of person you would probably want to be around, but you know, <laughs> it's just, it's just unbelievable. It's just these people. It, it's, it's not a good look. It's not a good look. I mean, like legitimately. And now we had to bring that forward in, in our special way, of course, and highlight everything. But now let's talk about the social implications of this, right? Because the left started this thing about five to 10 years ago, give or take, where they started deciding that they were the cultural arbiters and what could and could not be said in the public forum because of feelings and safety and emotions and responses and the way people perceive things. And now it's literally gotten to the point where they decide, again, this is according to Shannon's little evidence here, they decide what is acceptable, they decide what is okay, and if you do not agree, you're going to be bullied into submission. That's all that this is. Yeah. And it's all we've seen consistently over and over and over again. And I tell you this, Tim, right now on this channel, on the interwebs, if they go down this road and they are not resisted at every step that they can't, like on the digital space, saying this is not okay, they're going to go after every other country strong song that reinforces our country, reinforces our rights, reinforces all of our family values, reinforces all the gun rights that we support. All of these things are going to be erased because they cannot have this in popular culture because it defeats their narrative. It's their way or the highway. They will be bullied out of existence. That's what we're looking at right here, Tim. Yeah. You know, they should probably go back in time and and remove all references to a country boy can oh, survive. You know, I'm gonna spit some beach yeah, nuts exactly. to I eyes and shoot him with my old 45. I mean, just pure violence. Exactly. Um, just you know, yeah. that's just unheard of in today's pop culture. We don't generally talk about such violence. We don't nope. glorify violence in pop culture. Mm -hmm. And so, yeah. you know, the fact that yeah. she's going after this, you know, she's just trying to do the Lord's work. That's right, Tim. I can't I, stand you, her. You have come. I hate her. You have I'm come. Sure I'm, okay, hold on a second. Hold on. I got For those of you watching, Tim just went down a road where he quoted Hank Williams' Country Boy Will Survive <laughs> properly, I might add. Well done. Then he goes into a Huckleberry or a uh, Tombstone quote with Doc Holliday. I just I'm just going to give you credit and props on that alone. But <laughs> you caught it. Yeah. I did. I yeah, it was very very good. Um but you know, we spend our time trying to be these people's huckleberries. But um I mean, legitimately that, yes. Yeah. If, if you continue going on this road, and by the way, you've come very close to insulting the polka industry one more time. One, you're, you two strikes. That's where you're at, sir. Okay, I'm sorry. That polka industry is. I don't protected. want to get canceled. You better leave it alone. I don't want to. Get That's canceled. right. Please, you leave the polka alone. Let's hope Shannon but, doesn't catch on to this video. We'll oh, all be canceled. Oh, she will. Oh man, could you imagine if she responded on her Twitter feed? Oh my gosh, I would have the glorious day of that. Oh. <laughs> but. This is where this is why we cover this. This is why you've got presidential candidates coming out and responding to this. You've got sitting governors. You've got Republican leaders. You've got all these people coming out on something so mundane and stupid. It's not because the song. It's because of the censorship and what they're trying to do with their bully pulpit. Because this is nothing but digital bullying. The same thing that they rail against is completely wrong in every other aspect of life. They are guilty of doing it on the Twitter sphere. Yeah. They're guilty of doing it in the media. Every aspect of their moves is a bullying pressure uh, tactic. Yep. That's the Ugh. only way they think they can get forward is just yes. purely through aggression and bullying and, 100%. and um, you know, rallying people to cancel everybody that they don't like. And, you know, this guy is working out there trying to make a living for himself and his family and stuff like that. And she just wants to interject herself into the conversation mm -hmm. and deny him the ability to make a living and destroy him every way she can. Believe me, if she could take him down and make him lose every single paying gig he could ever get in the future, she would gladly do it and gloat about it on Twitter. That's mm -hmm. the evil uh -huh. that these people are. 
yeah. I mean, like genuinely think about this. Like if you're watching this video and you're like, okay, Braden, you're getting a little, little dramatic. I'm really not. No. Honestly, they, they are legitimately trying to now say, now that we got the video scrubbed and off online, by the way, this song is number one on iTunes now, by the way. Um, until they pull it. <laughs> well, until they pull it. But legitimately, now they're going after Grand Old Opry, and the entire point of the Opry that they're trying to get him pulled from was to raise money for the Covenant School Shooting Fund. Did, yeah. You, it, it makes no sense on any level. And I'm not, if I'm not mistaken, Jason was present in Vegas when that all went down. Yes, so, he was on stage when that happened. Yes. So, you know, her, her actions are just deplorable. She's a deplorable. I'm, you know I'm, what? I'm stealing Does from Hillary Clinton basket? on this one. Does she have a basket? Is she part of the basket of deplorables? Could be. <laughs> That's right. I caught that. I am on to your games today. The actual deplorables. Man. Yeah. The actual ones. That's that's insane. So you know what? I think we need I think Tim, I think we've painted this picture. Mm-hmm. We're gonna follow this because I have a feeling this is not over. No. Um <laughs> you know, I something tells me something about following the gun controllers as a part of my daily life tells me this is not over. Nope. Um but the next steps, I think we leave it to the audience, Tim. What do you guys think in the comments field? Yeah. I mean, like, I want to hear your thoughts. Do you think there's... I mean, is it the, is it the polka industry? <laughs> do you think the, uh, the, the wacky anti-gunners smell blood in the water and they're going to continue down this line and uh-huh. see who else they can take on? Uh-huh. Comment down below who? because I'd love to hear what yeah. you guys have to say. All right, guys, if you'd like, yeah, part- yeah, you like to be part of our call-in show, there is a link in the video description below. Follow that link, fill out some questions, we'll get you on the show, and we'll have a great conversation. Thank you for watching, we'll talk to you guys soon.